I'm Martha Josie and this is Ty Mitchell. And this is the short stop. Here are your stopping points for the bit. You want the ring that's closest to these stopping points. That's where your head saw is going to go. Just right above the curb chain. All right, the, you got your curb train hooks up here. The stop is right here. The head stall goes on this end. This is very important for this bit to work properly. And so when I go to adjust it, simply won't just put it on. All right, so what I'm looking for is I want to be able to get his mouth to be flush to the bit on the curb chain. I want to be able to get a couple of fingers between the chin and the chain. That way I can have a little bit of movement. All right, so when, once I get it where I think it should be, I always like to come back, pull on it a little bit, see if I get some slide, see what the action of the bit is. Always make sure that your head stall, your bit is even. I want it to be the same, balanced on each side. All right, this looks pretty good. So depending on your horse, if you need a little more woe, you can always tighten the curb chain up. If you need a little more bend, then I'll leave it alone or let it out one. So kind of depending on what your needs are, uh, but this bit will feel good when it's picked up. If it's just hanging in the horse's mouth, it's not going to feel as good uh, or you're going to have more of a delayed response. A short stop, copper dog. Great bit.